Right there guys, this is the uh, lid of the trailer up and uh, inside you can see the gear I've built. So we've got this big storage bin here that holds um, bedding and chairs and stuff like that. Um, later on I'll show you the kitchen, but this is the pantry portion of it. So this whole drawer slides forward to that position and when it does, that puts the storage area directly underneath this hatch under the bed which I'll show you later. That's the uh, main kitchen unit, all folded away on the tailgate. A gas bottle on this side which feeds that kitchen unit via a long hose. And this big gaping hole here is um, for the 12 volt compressor fridge freezer, which um, has a power outlet here so it can um, run in the trailer. Um, just give you a little tour around it. So there you go, that's it all up. And then um, got a storage bin on the front filled with all manner of goodness, solar panel for keeping the battery topped up, we've got three rod tubes, I've um, got another massive solar panel on a stand that I can slide out and connect into the system, and then around this side uh, is where my real inner geeks come out, so this is where we uh, control all the power, um, we've got security lighting on it, we've got interior lights, and we've got um, power outlets all through it, and then uh, I've built this battery box, so I've got a 120 amp hour battery in there, solar charge controller down here we can see how much current's going in from the solar panel what the voltage of the batteries is and how much is actually going out so at the moment you know not a lot going on just got the little panel running um got a mains charger so we can actually plug the trailer into mains and it automatically charges the battery um got a charge controller here that controls the power coming from the vehicle so when we're towing it's automatically charging the vehicle and it disconnects it when we turn off and then uh, if we have to have mains power got a 600 watt inverter all tucked in here in the battery box as well, so that's uh, that's my inner geek. Another water carrier on there. This will all make a little bit more sense when I um, show you around the, the trailer system once it's actually put up. But anyway, that's that's the beginnings. All right, right brothers, this is what comes off that tailgate. Quick as a quick thing. So as you can see, when I pull that drawer forward, I get access to these drawers here. A little bit of a booze cupboard and whatnot there, and a couple of drawers for odds and sods, and then. Uh, Built in, built a cutlery drawer and wants to carry on and plates and whatnot. And uh, as you can see, a little spot for the cooker in that. I got sick of pots tipping, so a uh, bit of stainless mesh on the top so you can sit anything anywhere and nothing falls over. And um, I'll show you real quick how it all packs up because it's pretty bloody ingenious, really. So that swings over there. And uh, Ripley's, believe it or not, this piece here folds up. We whip that out and it slides down and forms the front of that. I'll just show you that real quick. Yeah, so we just slide that piece out and it just drops in here. Like that. I've got this high output USB here for charging phones and stuff and I can see what the battery voltage is doing without having to shag around opening up the battery box. So it's pretty handy. And then down this end we've got a couple, of, a couple more dual outlets which let me run the um, fridge and the gas feed in for the uh, cooker. So we can run electric fridge, gas fridge, gas cooker all off one bottle. It's got a two meter hose that comes off this bottle, don't even have to take off the trailer. It's a pack down, she's pretty small. You can see down the sides here, cut the fishing rod holders when you're down the beach. Got another um, 12 volt outlet in case you need to charge stuff or run lighting inside the tents or anything. Um, also got, that's a uh, infrared motion sensor so as people move around this side of the trailer this strip of LEDs comes on it's real handy you shovel your firewood under the trailer and then uh, come around in the dark to pick it up and as you come around the lights come on it's pretty handy and when the tent's set up um, just here is where the, one of the doors is so same again another motion sensor another strip of lighting um, super handy at night when you're camping off the grid you just park up no worries anyone cruises around the trailer and boom lights come on
time for a quick look around. So the uh, trailer is mostly up. Got the ninja dog, it's very excited. So uh, as you can see, it just kind of explodes off the trailer, got the old uh, gas bottle there and a nice long line that runs into the tent into a junction and then that feeds the um, gas cooker in the fridge. And this is the kitchen all set up. Normally, uh, normally that's out of the way and turned around but the uh, some idiot bought the wrong gas line. 12 volt lighting throughout. There's the kids rooms where we normally chuck their beds. That's got 12 volt lighting as well. Mum and Dad up top on a king size bed and um, got our own reading lights up there as well. And uh, that battery box and that that I showed you in the other bit of clip, you have internal access to all of that so we can uh, turn on all our lighting and we need to check what the charge is doing or any of that sort of carry on or get mains power for anything. So yeah, that's pretty much the inside of the setup. It's pretty choice, I'm not going to lie. It's a pretty nice place to come to when you're duck shooting or hunting um, to just have this chill out space, you know, a few quiet beers and hang out with the boys. So we put the windows up like that to shade the tent so it uh, keeps the inside of the tent beautiful and cool and got a nice big 100 watt solar panel there that slides in behind the uh, rod holders so that's feeding the battery. So most of the time, that's our little setup. Now you want to come camping with me, eh? something else that's kind of cool that drawer that holds the front of the pantry when you pull it forward it exposes the storage area right under this hatch under the bed which means more work for me setting up children's camp stretches oh boys dinner time first order of the day is put a little bit of a nudge in the uh, bottle of bourbon a little bit more um, set up now Coops has got some venison saveloys on the go which are going to be Fabulous. We've just had the old uh, roasting trivet and whatnot going on inside the Weber there. We've got a bone rolled shoulder of lamb. It'd be terrible. And as you can see, the weather is amaze balls. For the old cricket going on, there's been soccer going on, there's been the mean airs bombs in the river. It's awesome. The old shower tank going on. So we fill this up, water gets sucked out of this, heated up and pumped out here and then in between the showers you just throw that back in, in between like washing up, throw that in there. This is where the magic happens. This is a Coleman hot water on demand unit, so uh, inbuilt gas bottle and uh, integrated lithium battery so it pumps, pumps water, heats it on a gas caliphant and boom! The hot shower happens even when we're camping.